the one. Let's go. Welcome to today's vlog. The mail's just come, I know exactly what this is. Making this particular vlog is um, it's a, it's a bit of a harder one for me. Well, let me explain. Sometimes it comes easily when you, especially when you're out with friends, um, you, if you're traveling and anything like that, it, it becomes easy. All you have to do is have the camera rolling and you, you do get content. Then there comes days like today where I'm literally doing nothing but sitting in my office, editing photos and editing video, and uh, and I've got a meeting tonight. So it's it's the most boring scene that you could possibly have. And trying to come up with an interesting story in amongst that is, uh, it's it's definitely hard. And I really, and I still don't really know what I'm about to talk about. Or whether this vlog will even make the cut, to be honest. Uh, actually, it will make the cut. I'll put something out regardless. But I wanted to bring up the topic of overthinking things. Now, I've got about four different vlogs that never made the cut. I just never even started to edit them just because I simply thought they weren't going to be good enough. Firstly, going back just over a month ago now, when I was down in Costa that weekend. It was actually supposed to be a part two to that vlog where I had, uh, we did two different photo shoots uh, for Bolto down while I was down there. One uh, at night time and then one at sunrise the next morning. How's your first time with model life? It was great. Comes down to hand eye coordination I think. Yeah. Um, it was different. It's hard when someone asks you, have you ever, has someone ever asked you to walk slow motion before? Yes. The very next day after I got back from Coffs, I was gonna make a vlog that day as well about a, of, I recently moved into this office. I actually hurt my back doing that. I, I wanted to create this time lapse of me, like my desk just moving itself back to this office. And to do the time lapse, um, I literally had to move it centimeter by centimeter. And it, this is what it looked like. hurt my back, I didn't even use it. Let's be honest, I'm pretty glad I put it in here now. My back is still actually bad from that. I don't know what I've done. I should probably should probably get it seen to at some stage. But the following weekend, we uh, we did another family trip away where we actually took the dogs on a road trip uh, down to Nambucket Heads where Cassie's grandma, uh, she turned 90. It was her 90th birthday. Uh, we were there for four days um, with all the family. Uh, all of Cassie's side was there. Walking distance to the beach, so every day we were taking the dogs down to the beach and they absolutely loved it. Walter ended up getting into his bag of food one night and he was, woke up in the morning, he was just like a balloon. And you would try squeezing, he was just, he was solid. He ate that much food. He was either just lazing about or shitting the whole day that next day. And then to top it off, he did the 
same thing two days later. We got him sex the day after we got back. And uh, we decided to keep him in the house that night because we needed to keep him warm and uh, out of the dirt and all of these things. So we figured we would set up a bit of a pen in, inside and he got out of that pen and figured out exactly where the food was kept and he was, he was straight in. This is a little bit of a different sort of vlog. I've never really done a video in these offices because, well, I just don't think people would find it interesting. This is literally most of my life in this room. So, so that's about it for today. Uh, probably not the most interesting vlog today, uh, but like and subscribe anyway because they'll probably get better from here. So <laughs> cheers guys, peace.